Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We are reporting live reporting. We're hanging out live from the floor of Java One. We're at the Java Hub, um, and we're talking to members of the Java community. And I have the distinct honor of talking to my old friend Arun Gupta. How are you, Arun? I'm doing well, Tori. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So tell me what you're doing these days. Yeah, I work for Red Hat. Made the switch about a year ago. I am the director for developer advocacy at Red Hat for anything that is to do with JBoss middleware. Okay, um, cool. Still very actively contribute to the Java E community. Um, and I also enjoy doing a lot of kids education okay. as part of DevOps for kids. Right, so let's let's kick off and talk about kids for a minute. So you had a day, uh, Kids Day or whatever, Java Kids Day. Right, right, so this was a DevOps for Kids Day actually at Java One, which right. was two days back. There were about 150 kids uh, that showed up. Right. Uh, we had several kids from the underprivileged communities. So, for example, there were 20 girls from Black Girls Code. And these girls, the instructors were telling me, these girls were the ones who were asking the most interesting questions. So, which is very inspiring. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you had three rooms and you were teaching different technologies. What right. was going on there? Yeah, so we had three rooms, uh, about 150 kids, 50 in each of those. We had workshops on Minecraft modding, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, Python, Scratch. Wow. wow. Now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. about 12 sessions overall. Nice. It was really good. Really good. Yeah. And the fun part is we picked seven of those kids to highlight in the strategy keynote at Java 1. Right. That was very cool. That was pretty right? cool. You know, the kids behaved as if they've been doing all their life. Right. It's like, you know, if you talk to either one, some of us, We'd be scared, like, whoa, how can even that big an audience stage? Right. These kids were smooth. Yeah, they were born to be presenters. Right, right. And they got the fan to go, right? Yeah. Is that pretty much? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, that was one of the projects that they built, the turbine. Oh, okay. They got the turbine to rotate, you know, because yeah. that's what they built in the class. Excellent. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. So DevOps for Kids is all around the world. Right, right. right? So, yeah, so DevOps for Kids was started in Belgium. Um, I founded the non-profit organization in the US, uh, so I run the Bay Area chapter as well. But there are also chapters in France, Netherlands, UK, India, Indonesia, all wow. over. Excellent. And um, if, so if I want to find more information about it, it's DevVox, D-E-V-O-X-X, -X, the number four? Right, and kids.org. Kids.org, kids yeah. okay. Yeah. So there are chapters all over the world. There are developers that really believe in helping train the next gen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, think about this. The logo of Java is create the future. Right. You and me are present. These kids are the future. Right, right. So if we don't train them, them yeah, you know, we're going gonna 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 to keep working forever. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. No. Do you? No. no. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't want to put my laptop on my walker. That just wouldn't work. No. So, great. Yeah, and a lot of enthusiasm, and I'm seeing a lot of girls, which is very optimistic. Right. right? So, we... we we definitely focus a lot more as part of gender equality, see how we can bring in more girls and even actually pay special attention to them that their needs are being fulfilled. The focus is not so much on education instead of fun. Because if they have fun, they're going to come back. Yeah, then they're motivated. That's right? it. Right? And this all kind of started with your son in Minecraft, right? Yeah, is that yeah. a big part so to it? Last, to last year, he asked me, Dad, my jar is broken. I said, what do you mean jar? How do you know what a jar is? Oh, Minecraft is a, it has a jar. It's a game written in Java. Java evangelist, Java advocate, my lights go on. I said, let's take care of it. So I explained him the concept, ran the very first workshop in my living room. And then now here we are, this year as part of the DevOps for Kids USA, we have done about 1,000 kids in about 20 plus workshops all over the Bay Area. Lots of girls, lots of boys. Um, and it's like a crazy, it's like a wildfire. Right, right. Well, yeah. So, not a wild thing. Let's talk about, let's make the uh, change gears. So, tell me what's going on in the Java EE space from your perspective. Right. So, uh, Java EE, I think, is very well thriving. Java EE 7 was released last year, June. Right. I'm seeing, in general, very good community reactions. All the WebSocket stuff, all the JSON, batch processing that we had. People right. are very excited about it. At the moment, there are three compliant application servers, so Glossfish, Wildfly, and Juice. Uh, there's a good traction between all of those app servers. At right. least Glossfish and Wildfly are pretty heavily used. Right. Um, 
Now, Java E8, we recently completed filing what, 7 or 8 JSRs. So it's not that the Java E community is sitting idle, but we're already looking at, based upon the community survey, what needs to be done next. So all those JSRs have been filed. Uh, there's an MVC JSR, which, allow, which will allow you to do true model view controller. Right. Not just like JSF, but more like action-oriented MVC. Oh, interesting. We're going to okay. add support for HTTP2, which is a brand new protocol that's going to be sent out soon, hopefully. So, we're also looking at JSON binding. So, lots of these different specs, which have been filed by uh, Oracle, and then Red Hat has filed CDI too. And because of the partnership that we have had with Oracle for so long, Red Hat is going to be participating in all of those expert groups because it's truly a community effort. Excellent. So, yeah. Java community process. So right. JCP. JCP. Yeah. So, yeah, right. we really emphasize the C part of it. So if I'm an individual developer and I've heard about the JCP and I kind of want to get involved but I don't know where to get started, what would you recommend they do? Frankly, the jcp.org website is a little daunting. Okay, so <laughs> what's daunting. then, yeah, so there's the official line and then what you really do. So right. what do you really do? So what I do typically pe uh, tell people is, you know, go participate in one of the hacker gardens. You know, Andre okay. has been doing these hacker gardens all around the world. Right. If you are at a local jug, start participating there. Because okay. if you participate there, you know, you don't want to jump into JCP right away. At least get your hand a little bit wet. Okay. Like, what does it mean? What is the JSR? What is the JCP? You know, if you care about, say, persistence, then go to java.net, pick a project like jpa-spec.java.net, subscribe to the user areas. So, you don't have to be a member member of JCP in order to join JCP. You could be a just an observer for JCP. Ah, so you can watch the discussion about the spec as it's going by. And right. Kind of, okay. So start at that level, be an observer, see right. if you like it and see if you enjoy it, and then go at that level and start talking more about it. And if you like it, you know, sky's the limit. You know, you can go from contributing to the spec, filing Jira, doing implementation, lead the spec. Right. Like, you know, um, the Jira daytime that was done by, you know, individual contributor. Right. So right. things like that. That's entirely possible. And I've heard the engineers at Oracle say they love it when somebody just goes and bothers to read the spec because they have a completely different perspective. When you're inside and you're making the sausage, you kind of lose perspective. Right, right. So it's really nice to have a person that's actually going to be using the technology to give feedback. Right. Yeah. right. See, I think because we are sometimes so close to the technology, we lose that real world perspective sometimes. Right. Exactly. So people who are actually using it in real world, I want to hear them out. I want to hear them out what's missing in my spec. Right. I want to hear them out what the use case is not being considered. Right. What is being considered is good. That's being right. done. That's right. boring. Right. Tell, tell me the interesting fun challenge stuff. Challenge me. Yeah, challenge yeah. me. You know, I'm an athlete. So I always want to challenge my body. Right. So challenge my, my spec. Brain and yeah. Challenge my spec. Challenge my spec. I like to. Cool. So, thank you very much for dropping by. It's always good to see you. Thank you, Corey. And where are you out in the world? Where's a good place to... You're out on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Right. Or, so, you can reach to me at, at Arun Gupta. Okay. Or uh, Arun Gupta at Gmail. Or Arun Gupta at Red Hat. Okay. Or right. Google. Or right. come down to the Java Hub. Come down to the Java Hub. I'm going to be all over. You doing some presentations? This week? I, I did my first tutorial this morning on Java E7 Suit to Nuts. Okay. So cool. I was skeptical, you know, 8.30, how many people are going to show up? But there were 200 room capacity and 213 audience in the standing room only. Well done. That was well cool. done. Great. And um, I'm actually going to be starting with my book signing soon. Okay. <laughs> Which, what's your book? Uh, this is the McGraw Hill book. Okay. Uh, Java E7, uh, HTML5, and Enterprise Web Application Development. We are starting soon. Yep. Then there are book signings at O'Reilly Booth. Then there is a few more sessions that I'm doing. Right. They're on my blog. Yeah, so you can tell this guy knows what he's talking about, so I bet you find his book would be a really good idea, right? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a delight to talk to you, and I'm sure I'll see you around this week. All right, Tori, take care. Thank you. This is Tori Wilt with the Oracle Technology Network.